All right, we're going to go into the entertainment news. And first up on the entertainment news today, Bonaboy and Odumodu Black nominated for 2024 BET Hip Hop Awards. The 2024 BET Hip Hop Awards is just around the corner and the nominations are in. This year, Nigeria is proudly represented by Bonaboy and Odumodu Black. Odumodu Black got a nod in the Best International Flow category at the 2024 BET Hip Hop Awards and he will be competing with rappers from France, Brazil, UK and South Africa for a chance to become the first Nigerian rapper to win a BET Hip Hop Award. Bonoboy also got a nod in the Best Life Performance in a category that has hip hop stars like Drake, Kendrick Lamar, Travis Scott, Nicki Minaj, Buster Rhymes, Caddy B, Glorilla, Megan Thee Stallion, and Missy Elliott. Megan Thee Stallion le leads the nominees this year with 12 nods, while Kendrick Lamar comes next with 11 nods, followed by Drake with 8 nods, then Cardi B, Glorilla, Metro Boomin, and Nicki Minaj with 7 each. Future and Travis Scott each got 6 nods, while 21 Savage with 41 and 41 got 4 nods respectively with ASAP Rocky. Common, Lil Wayne, Pete Rock, and Sexy Red getting three nominations each. Fat Joe will host and co-executive produce the show, which is set to tape in Las Vegas on Tuesday, October 8th. But the show will air on BET One week later on Tuesday, October 15th. This will be the third year in a row that Fat Joe will be hosting the show, the most since Snoop Dogg hosted from 2013 to 2015, but comedian Mike Epps hosts the BET Hip Hop Awards record for hosting the show with a record of four years running, 2009 to 2012. Congratulations are in order. Definitely, definitely. Congratulations, congratulations to Burner Boy. Congratulations to Otumodu Black, especially Otumodu Black. I am yeah. not even trying to, uh, you know, bring anybody down. They all deserve it, and I'm so happy. But for Otumodu Black, uh, you know, I think is new. Not that he has not received any awards, but I'm just saying that, you know. Um, uh, he, Burner Boy is already used to stuff like this. Yeah. So I am congratulating him specially. Yeah. I greet you specially. Congratulations to all the nominees. Uh, you know, we look forward to this and we really do hope that, you know, uh, our own will bring home Definitely. the plaques. Definitely. I mean, big ups to Burner Boy. Like you said, it's not the first time he's doing this. But bigger ups to uh, Odumodu, Odumodu Black, Black yeah. um, being um, on that list, uh, yeah. fighting it with the continent's uh, finest, with Africa's finest. And if he wins it, it's going to be the first Nigerian yes. um, hip-hop artist to bring home an award nominated by BET. Yeah. So that's, that's actually an actual be, um, big deal. We've had Ice Prince in the past. We've had a few others who have been nominated for BET. Files. You know, files. You know, they've been nominated for categories like this. But um, if he brings it, he will be the first Nigerian to actually bring it. Yes, yes. First. For BET? From BET, yeah. Oh. Yes, I believe so. I'm trying yes. to, like, rack my brain yes, and... Yes, 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 yes. So it's a big deal for Dumudu Black. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, so let's see how it goes. Let's see how it really goes. Uh, it's good to know that people are noticing you. They are following mm -hmm. your work. I'm really excited for him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so still in the entertainment news, Ellen DeGeneres laughs off getting cancelled. American comedian, television host Ellen DeGeneres has somewhat addressed our controversial fall from grace in a bold new way through comedy in the first trailer for our upcoming Netflix stand-up special. For your approval, Ellen takes aim at the black backlash that saw her ex exited from Hollywood after a talk show. The Ellen DeGeneres show was hit with allegations of fostering a toxic workplace in the trailer released Ellen candidly jokes about her once famous uh, catchphrase, be kind to one another. She jokes that it should have been go blip yourselves instead so people would have been <laughs> pleasantly surprised to find out she was nice the former daytime host then reflects on our struggles with confidence and our efforts to please everyone during our show's run saying i thought if i could make people happy they would like me and if they like me i will feel good about myself and all i can say about that is thank god for the money this new special marks Ellen's first major 
return to comedy since our talk show ended in May 2022 after 19 seasons. At the time, Ellen claimed the decision to end our show was not influenced by the toxic workplace allegations, stating instead that it was just not a challenge anymore. According to Netflix, for your approval is expected to be Ellen's final stand-up special with the comedian taking a personal and raw approach as she reflects on our career, our reputation, and being kicked out of show business. Despite the hardships, Ellen's new material makes it clear she is no longer seeking public approval. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> I think it, it gets to that point where, you know, you just don't care about what the world thinks about you and you just want to do your thing. But, I mean, she did make a statement there that, um, you know, she she thought being nice to people will make them like make her. Them like her. And to make her feel good. But I mean, the allegations against her when was not her being nice, was her being actually not nice. The yeah. Other way around so. Yeah, I'm just looking at that. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. So they said that it would be our last uh, stand-up comedy. And uh, she is giving the vibes like, you know, I don't need to explain anything to anybody, but she's still looking like she needs to explain something to us mm -hmm. with this particular one that she's doing, the Netflix special, because yeah. right now you want to talk about your career, you want to talk about your... You want to reflect on your, um, you know, show and... All of these things, mm -hmm. uh, which is very interesting. I mean, it's always good, even if you really just want to talk to us about certain things. Let's see how that goes. Uh, but then, as you said earlier, that, um, you know, that... <laughs> what she was saying, talking about her confidence, how she built her confidence, and all of those things, uh, saying that... Um, you know, she thought that being good will make people like her and then yeah. it will make her feel good. Yeah. Uh, and you said that, see, it wasn't even about being nice. They were saying that you were not nice to your staff. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe sometimes, I don't know what to... Okay, so sometimes, I don't know whether to say this is delusional. Maybe you're thinking in your mind that you're nice and people don't see it as you're being nice. So, I don't know. Uh, this is how I, I see life. Everybody is, see, nobody's a villain in their own story. Regardless, when they are telling their own story, they never would paint themselves as the bad person. You think so? Nobody would So I tell you on. what, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure that people I work with, and even you would be able to say it. I say it all the time. I say that, see, lies are things that me, I don't really know how to say. Mm -hmm. Do you know that if I was fighting J. Paul, and I slapped J. Paul, <laughs> do you know that I am so... I am so transparent that when they say, come and say your own part, I'll say, I now slapped him. I will say that part. So I'll not, you don't get. I cannot state the reason I slapped you, but that does not mean I'll now cause that. I'll say, I was, well, I, I don't still, know. I, still, I do it. I do it. But you would still, like, you would still have reasons as to why you did what you did, right? But people on the outside will still see it as you're the bad person, you're the terrible person. That's why I said in everybody's story, they'll they are, still be. Yeah, they are not the villain in their story. So it's up to people to now um, decipher it and say, okay, let's weigh this one, let's weigh the good, let's weigh the bad. But do you think that Ellen was really cancelled? Um, see. People have there is. She she was cancelled. She's definitely been cancelled because seasons, El so. Ellen. Of the past. Times and seasons. Yes. Times and seasons. Ellen before this allegation. Ellen Different was, shows she had was, come up she and she was, said 19 seasons. No, was, and she wanted to take a back seat, not because of what people said. In America, in terms of talk shows, there were three powerhouses. Opera, Wendy, 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 Wendy and, and Ellen. But all of these people, because new shows sprouted and all of these people just needed... Okay, will you say they cancelled um, Wendy? They didn't cancel Wendy. Wendy wasn't cancelled. Oprah wasn't cancelled. Yeah. Right? So sometimes a show might have lived its course. And, you know, these people just feel like, I just want to move on. 19 good seasons, story along. Like, yeah, they want to do other things. I don't think that Ellen should feel a type of way. I think that uh, you should reflect on yourself, Sha. If you have done bad, truly, I think that you should look for a way to correct it, mm. you know, with those people, because this life is just very interesting. I mean, taking the case of uh, Didi as an example, um, you know, people have been saying, <laughs> I've never even, I've not had time to actually weigh, weigh in on this particular one. So people have been saying all sorts, like, what now happened that all these years he's been doing what he's been doing? And somehow I'm beginning to think that maybe those people in power at that time are no more in power. So things are changing. I don't know. 
I mean, we did discuss this on the show yesterday with um, OJ. There's a lot behind the scenes that we'll never get to understand. But as the story unfolds, we'll see more stories unfold. But we do know that the powers that be want Didi right now. and they're going to Interesting get stuff. Next. What do they use baby oil for again? Let's go on a break wow. and find out. We'll be right back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Social View, the place you can get your daily fix of fun and craziness going on in the world of social media. Let me check it with this crazy woman. With this crazy man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nine piercings. You be belt. No wonder. Who How many piercings do you have? I mean, who collated this? Wait, thing? first, answer my question. Is this OJ? No. This is OJ. OJ. I can see OJ. How many piercings do you have on your ear? On my ear. On your ear. Just on my ear. Let's start with your ear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, generally. I have, okay, if you're talking about my ear, I have four here, That's I have four, four here, I That's have eight. two here, That's I have two, one two. inside here. Two, one, four. That's eight plus three. Ah, uh, um, uh, 11. What, how many more again do you have? Where do you want to know? Where? <laughs> I have one here. Ah, uh, that's 12. Is there any more you need to announce? <laughs> <laughs> I know that I can see OJ's and the work here. You be built? I can see OJ's and the work here. <laughs> oh, no, no, me. Oh, and this must be when only part is on the show because you know go sweets because if you go and bring somebody that does not have piercings. I mean, I, I just have just one piercing. Oh, have a boomy. Eh, I be belt. One is okay, man. If it's more than one, that's fine. All right, let's check out the next one. <laughs> question five. Study the table below before answering the question. And the guy, did he do the wrong thing? They said study the table below. And he's looking <laughs> under his table. <laughs> I don't know. This person. But this is what OJ would do. Oh, oh no, OJ. Uh, uh, OJ, more way now. OJ, uh, no book. Uh, uh, why would you now? Why would you, why would you do that? But you know, he studied. He's a medical student that never practiced. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. I don't even know what that guy's problem is. Orange juice. <laughs> Okay, next up, next up, Olori at Olori of Olori says, ask the person you're currently seeing why they like you and share with the timeline. And this girl shares a screenshot. Babe, why do you like me? And Gary, but someone has to. Jesus Christ. Why did you like me? Why are you banging like Puma? Why do you like me? No. No, I'm not using past tense. Why do you like me? No, because I don't I not say I like you now. Why do you like me? Why do you like me? Answer that question. Because you are weary. Uh, sometimes <laughs> I like you. I like your weary. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm very calm, so I need weary in my life. <laughs> God forbid it's in Jesus' name that I'll be weary. But you know So that when they when I'm driving and they bash me. <laughs> Yeah, the one that will come down and shout, I'll be like, babe, sorry, just calm down, calm down. I'll be like, no, leave me, they're bashing you. I need that worry. You, why did you like me? I'm not going to answer it. Uh -uh. You, 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 you said because I have, God forbid. You say, yo, why did you like me, Dido? Because I don't know if you still... Because you're cute like a button. <laughs> you see, I like that cute part. It suits me. I will not even lie. But you see that button? It's, what? What? it's cute. It's not, no, mm -mm. I don't know. I'm Nigerian, no. That button, it's not sitting well with me. Ah, that's what they say now. Don't you know literature? They say cute like button. You are saying bo button. Button. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the UK. You know what you're saying? Say, what are? <laughs> <laughs> I need some what are you saying? Oh, <laughs> I saw my friends studied English in school. They asked. She doesn't understand English. The other one was so mad. Say, she started English in school. It's like someone say, I need, I need a little bottle of water. water. Like, bro. <laughs> All right, let's check out the next one. Next one uh, is the chat. Missed video call. Missed video call. And there's a, a reply. says, I'm naked. I'll call you back. And he replies, let me see you. <laughs> he reply, oh, lo, lo, lo. Let me see you. Oh, lo, 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 buga, oh. 
say you're a mad person. Let me see. Oh, they were singing this song. Yeah. Let me see you. Oh, oh lo, lo, lo. Let me see you. Oh, lo, lo, lo. Buga. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is how crazy you are. And that's why I love you sometimes, bro. I you can't still be, love me. I can't be living doing sometimes. Let me tell you, Jay Paul loves me to so stupor. If you like, go and put your head there. We use your head to break coconut. I don't love her to stupor. And don't be thinking. My family people are watching this show. Oh, yeah, we're coming. <laughs> and that, don't be thinking that uh, you, yeah, you have seen a single guy. Hey, hey, hmm. Friday afternoon. <laughs> Talking about me while I'm making money. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, it's all right. You, you can call me. You mean, if you have my number, call me. Shabby, you have, they said, uh, Anston, why do you like honeypots? He told you already. I'm not going to take it easy with you. Because I don't care. That was in the past, though, where the present. Until I said that I have released him. I don't like worry again. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like? It's not all your business what I like again. Eh. Yes. So you me, I'm, cu I'm cute like a button. You, like? you think well, I'm you cute? Like it's fine. Let's check the last story. <laughs> It says, I am that type of guy who puts a song on repeat until the artist begs for water. <laughs> this is me. But yeah. you know, I get tired of, sometimes I run away from what I like so much because I don't want to get tired of it. Ah, sometimes I don't, if I reverse somebody so much, I don't want to see them often. Well, I just want to. I get what you mean. You I mean, I, like, I, I consume music, really, especially if I love something, I consume it so much and then I now get tired. And then I won't listen to it for a little bit. But yeah, uh, we have to go. We're done with Social View for today. Um, and when we come back, we hope you enjoyed yourself. Every bit of the craziness. We'll be back with our guest for today. So stay tuned. Yeah, thank you so much, guys, for staying here with us. Of course, we told you that our guest is here. Joining us on the show this afternoon is a Trinidadian singer-songwriter. Our rise in the music scene started with a rich musical heritage rooted in the heart of Trinidad and Tobago's soca scene. And she is here to talk to us about all of this and more. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show this afternoon. Nahila Blackman! Nayla. Nayla. Okay, Nayla, I got yes. it. Nayla. You got it right. I got it. Yes. Yeah. How you doing? You look stunning. Thank you so I much. I love your hair. Thank you. It's your first time in Nigeria. First time in Nigeria. First time on the continent as oh, well. Oh, nice. So I'm like, so I would excited. never have believed it because you've worked with Adekule Gold, by the way. Uh, that was her doing the hook to that Adekule Gold uh, yeah, song that you just uh, watched. And I was wondering, I said, uh -uh, I think that you had one person. You know how... You see somebody or you hear about that person and it looks like you've already known that person. Yeah. So tell me that is the first time, even on the continent, I'm like, no, yeah, don't no, tell me that. I've heard your My voice. heart has been here for a long time, oh, you know. Nice, 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 nice. So I mean, tell us, I mean, you worked with a dick on yeah. that jam. You've worked with a couple of people. How is it like you've worked with these people but you've never actually been to Nigeria and then coming here finally? How does it feel? Well, it feels amazing. This has been a dream for me for almost my whole life, you know, because um, being brought up in Trinidad and Tobago, we are also taught as well that, you know, we're Africans. Yeah. So it's like a big deal when you come back home yeah. to the motherland. Like, it's not... In my mind, I'm like, okay... This have you done your DNA? No, I've not, but I have to, because I have to know which <laughs> no, tribe I have to know, you know. But I say eventually, I definitely will do it. But it's always been like a dream. So for me... Um, working with Ade Kunle, working with Oxlade, working with different people. I mean, in the Caribbean, soca music is huge, you know mm. what I'm saying? And, and in the Caribbean, lots of Africans as well. So naturally, we're like, okay, we need to work with our own, you know, we need yeah. to work with. So Ade Kunle and I met way back, and then, you know, we've had a good friendship ever since. Nice. All right. Nice. Uh, because when you came, we were like, okay, let's compare Nigeria to so Trinidad and Tobago. And then because when I was reading about you, uh, you know, you were so proud to put it in your bio that that is where concerts, uh, you know, originated from and that you people are always vibing. I'm like, have you met us? Have you met us? So let us know the difference. Well, it's not a big 
big difference. What I would say is that y'all party hard. Y'all go straight to the morning. <laughs> we do the same thing, but I think we're more like, we're more jumpy, jumpy, dancey, dancey. Yeah. Like, you know, we'd be like jumping, waving, whining, but y'all like chill and rock back. Y'all are like cool kids, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting, but you know that we go to some other countries and we just be like, what's happening there? You know all those countries that you might even finish performing and it is when you are almost at your house that they do not start clapping. Wait, wait, what did I do wrong? They said, no, that is how they react. Yeah. Like, no, we're not like that. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm happy you're having fun so far. And you've seen that we know how to party. No, for here. sure you do. Great, great. I mean, let's talk about your family. Um, yeah. um, looking at your bio, uh, you, I realize that you come from a family of entertainers. Yeah. And your grandfather... Right, if, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Your grandfather is one of the original creators for soccer. Yes. Right, the worldwide renowned soccer music. So tell us about that and the family that you come from. Well, I come from the Blackmon family. Ras Shorty, I also known as Lord Shorty, Garfield Blackmon. He is the pioneer creator of soccer music. Basically, back in the 70s, he felt like if um, Calypso music, which came from Africa way back in like, before the 1800s, I'm not really sure. And he was a Calypsonian his whole life. But, you know, he was a black man, but he had a little Indian mix in him. Mm. And he was brought up on his mom's side with the Indian family. And he felt like everything was so disconnected, divided, a lot of racial tension. And he just felt like it was time for people to just unite and be one as mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. And that's where soca music came from. It's a mixture of African and Indian mm. rhythmic structure. And then soca was Birthed, and it changed the course of everything. Carno, it gave a whole new life to carnival and the mm -hmm. entire culture that we have in the Caribbean. And now, way years later, I'm here and just taking back up the mantle. My mother, Abby Blackman, was she's an icon in yeah. Trinidad. She's the first ever youngest Calypso queen. So, Amazing. yeah. Amazing. So, I, I, it was it just came naturally to you because you said you play. Um, I read that you play um, two. Instruments right there, yes. or do you play it's more up. than that? Yeah, I play. And then the metal stuff. <laughs> yeah, um, steel pan. Yeah, it's our steel national pan. instrument. Pan. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. Amazing. So tell us about your music. Um, like, did, was it a re like? Did you wake up and realize that you were going to do music, or did you do it because your family was doing it, or did you just? Did it come to you naturally? How did you start? What was the influence? I think it's. I think it's all of it because. Mm. I originally did it because my family did it because mm -hmm. as I was born, like everybody was singing and playing instruments. So it was like, imagine a baby experiencing just yeah. like lots of harmonies. Like for me, I was like, oh, this is nice. But you know, I was always really inspired by my mom. Yeah. I wanted to be like her and she was so full of passion for music. Um, that's how I started. I was I actually did my first song when I was two years old, mm. but I did my first performance when I was four years old and I was really shy. Is this somewhere somewhere that you can play? It's home? not somewhere <laughs> like on the internet. We were not we weren't really like that advanced <laughs> back then, but um, I definitely still know this song. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Have you thought about doing something with some of our Nigerian female art? Definitely, I would love to. I love Ira as well. I love Tiwa Savage, you know what I'm saying? I'm friends with Nini Yola. And I, I, y'all have so much talent here. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Even artists that I discovered while I was here, like yeah. I think somebody named King, I can't remember her name, but mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, wow. So what events have you even been to? I've been to the club, you know. I've been to um, Ballers and Divas. I've been to Vanti. I've yeah. been to Obi's house. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. so I was like outside. We're going to come to j Sunday Escape. <laughs> what? But ah! she, no, but she's already leaving on Sunday. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. We'll push the flat. Don't worry, I'm coming back in December. December. I'm going to have it all in December. She's just fighting because she's, she's my ex. <laughs> what? It's me! <really? laughs> I'm not fighting. I'm not fighting. I like you already, so there is a problem. But there is a problem if I don't like you, but I think I like you already. <laughs> Okay, now let's talk about the genre you do. Yeah. Uh, and, um, you know, the works that you've done in the past, what is in the works for you? Well, right now I'm working on a full album, right? I'm super excited about it. That's partially why I came here as well, to work on music, to work with the producers and songwriters and everybody out here, um, artists as well. But I've been doing so much music. Like, I came out in 2017, and from 2017... 
to now, like my catalog is it's ridiculous, huge. you know, yeah. it's ridiculous. So I feel like now I'm exploring different sounds. I'm like fusing soca with Afro a little bit. I'm like, you know, just doing a lot of um, experimental yeah. sounds, but still staying true to who I am. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, looking at your catalog, you've been nominated for a lot of um, international awards from BET, so, you know, um, best um, soccer artist, even from um, in Jamaica. You've done a lot of things. Um, I also realized that you're signed to Big Money Records, mm -hmm. which houses some of the biggest names. Drake. Drake and the rest. So kudos to you. Well done. I want to ask you a question, though. Um, there's been a conversation recently that involved um, the Jamaican artist, the Raga artist, uh, Bujubantin, made a statement about... Um, Afrobeats. Afrobeats, and says, you know, Afrobeats is not deep enough. We're not passing... Um, it's the surface music, and we're not passing any messages. Um... And some other people also came out to say some words to it. But you have worked with Nigerian artists. You yeah. have been in contact with Afrobeats. And you still do your music as well. What's your, what's your, take, on what's your take on Afrobeats? Well, I definitely would not say that. I actually think Afrobeats is one of the deeper music that we have now that's, that's um, like trending music. If you think about what's popular music and trending music, I just, I'm so against that statement. I just have to say I'm so against that statement because what I love about Afrobeat music is that even when you're talking about one thing that might feel like jiggy and dancey and it might make you feel like good inside or like, it still has a message. It still has an underlying something that is like, this is what I'm going yeah, through yeah. or this is what, where I want to go. Or, yeah. you know, there's always like... A, it's either a struggle story or a blessing story. Yeah. Like, there's always something for you to hold on to a bigger picture. So I'm very much against that statement. Oh. Mm. Um, but in general, I just feel like if the way the world has been going with social media, people have been so desensitized to real emotion, you yeah. know, in yeah. general. If you think about the Gen Zs and the Alphas coming up, like... They don't want to feel because they don't want to hurt because so because yeah. that's life. Yeah. That's life in a lot of ways. People we go through a lot of hardship. Mm -hmm. We go through a lot mm -hmm. of things, but sometimes we don't want to face it. And if we want to listen to something that makes us feel like we forget about our problems for a mm. minute, so what? Like mm. we should be we should be open to that. We should because there's there's something for everybody if you want some if you want something deeper go find something deeper mm -hmm. don't shame a whole genre of music I guess it's, for it, you I know guess what i'm saying yeah. thank you thank you for, for, for giving us your opinions definitely all right so tell us what are your plans as we round off then what would you like to tell people what would you like them to know about you okay well i'm as i said i was working on a whole album a body of work and the name of the album is called born a diamond uh, right yeah, yes love it. um and i'm definitely coming back to nigeria I'm, I'm doing collaborations with nigerian artists and i feel like if this project is like so special so special to me and my journey and what i've been going through that i want everybody to hear i want everybody to know about it so um yeah my name is nyla and y'all need to like check out the music mm -hmm. full and through since 2017 to now so you could get an idea you Let's know get it <laughs> oh, wow energy <laughs> all right we still have nahila right here thank you so much for coming on the show but then you know that we cannot go without giving you this so that's all we can take with our guest happiness is free is next before we go guys check out this one
Wow. <laughs> <laughs> interesting new things that we see in the streets all right thank you so much i'm so so i'm so sure that people are happy that you know we give you happiness is free thank you so much naila for coming on the show thank you for I'm having me nigeria indeed yeah, i've done this with this silly guy you huh your ex <laughs> anyway, you said that is my ex. My name is Honeypot, and we'll catch you what next week, Viga and Better. But don't forget that we've got all of our videos right there on YouTube, so you can just keep yourself busy and enjoy the weekend with our videos. Okay? We'll see you. My name is Honeypot.